catch up with the schedule. Um, to those of you who have not had the opportunity to visit the Sloping Hills and Burger Green, or as I sometimes refer to it as, the Sloping Hills and Collard Greens, welcome to North Carolina Central University. And it is great to be able to host day two on the 100th anniversary of the birth of Margaret Allison Bonds. Um, and my presentation this afternoon is going to be less of a presentation in the lecture format as a, what I call a dining room table, kitchen, backyard kind of discussion on Margaret Bonds and the artistic landscape of Chicago, New York City, and if time permits, Los Angeles. Um, the thing that has uh, just occupied or really preoccupied my thoughts over the course of planning for this celebration is um, not so much why is the information about Margaret Bonds so scattered, um, but how do we best, again, centralize the, uh, the loci or the, uh, the locuses of, of information so that we don't have to you know, search everywhere between the devil and the deep blue sea to find out more information about Margaret. I'm reminded also of what I often tell cello students when they play movements of solo Bach for me. I tell them that because Bach did not leave a manuscript score to the six suites for solo cello in his own hand, we can't go back and argue with each, with each other and say, see, here, this is what he wrote. That means you have to follow it. I think he did us a favor and really set us up you know, to keep this amazing dialogue about his music going and to keep the meaning of his music um, you know, in the forefront of our lives artistically. And I think that Margaret Bonds was also uh, of that same mindset. Uh, she set us up in an even bigger way because of her generosity um, in writing music, not so that it could be published and remembered, but so that those people who she held dear could perform it, to, perform it to the best of their abilities. And, and it was so nice to hear Charlotte Holloman, you know, sharing her memories about um, Margaret Bonds and the um, songs that she wrote for her to perform. And not just for her to perform for a recital debut, but for Charlotte Holloman to bring the best of her artistry um, to those works. It just occurred to me that my cell phone is in my coat, so if it should start ringing, um, you won't hear it, but if it should start ringing and it happens to be Kermit Moore calling from New York. Where's your coat? In my office, so if you could just pause that for about 30 seconds, I'll go get my cell phone. 